Okay, there's the house on the corner of Peace and Salem. So if there's a, if you can see that little flag right there on that twig, if you can see that white flag there, I think I have it in the view screen. Yeah, right there. So that's the corner of the first of these two, and all I can do really is go down through here. As you can see, it's very heavily thicketed and some good sized trees as well. Both of these lots fall off away from peace, but in my opinion as a builder, not precipitously, at least not that very first one. Now as I continue on to this, where I, I assume I'm approaching the next lot, I do see a orange flag down here. It does look like this second lot, you can possibly see that orange flag down there, which I believe is the corner of the two lots for sale. And it doesn't look bad down in the lot, but if you can get some kind of a perspective on getting down to it, it's probably 18 to 20 feet below the road right where we are now. So it might require some investigation to see if there's access from the lower side because I don't think on this second lot that the, that the access is good from peace anyway. Let's see if I can find the corner. There, there's the corner. So we're talking about that now. Actually, this lot doesn't look bad once you get down on it. I'm not sure how much you can, you know, perceive from the video. However, you down in there doesn't look too bad. Um, there is another issue on this second lot besides the steep, almost, um, impossible access unless you build an elevated parking platform that level with the road which has has been done several times um, as you can see right at the corner where that other orange marker is there's a big giant pipe coming out um, draining let's take a look across the road looks like it's draining this entire little swale between that house and that house which are on the uh, opposite sides of these two lots and so there's the little valley right there coming down there comes through this culvert right here through the road and goes right onto that lot maybe a combination of looking at this video and examining the topos would give you a, a somewhat of a feeling for it so it does look like this first lot quite honestly would be the easiest of the two to build on I have to look at the, the actually the, you know the lots the way they're laid out but this one is not I don't think terrible. Okay. Well, now there's a flag. I thought the flag was right here on that white. On that little white. I'm not sure if I'm able to catch that little stake there with that little white flag on it. But actually, when I come over here, I see... sewer is right here I'm standing on a manhole but it looks like from these lower lots you might have to pump unless we can gain access to the below but as you see right there there's a flag so the best access to what appears to be this lot would be 
in the middle of it a little further up that way because this starts to this is a little steep right here and there's another drain as you can see this drain here and it'll come out below here somewhere those can run pretty fast uh, with the right kind of rain which we do get okay on to the next I'll just give you a view of course I'm sure you're familiar with Black Mountain but this is just looking up the street there's a house that I actually built right there <laughs> Okay, now we're doing a drive-by from the lower side. There's the house up there. You may, it's on the corner there, that one of the lots of butts. So here I see, as you see that orange flag there. So that, those two flags represent one of these corners. It'll be easier to see when you're actually looking at the plat as you're holding, uh, as you're watching the video, hold the plat and you can probably see it. Now there, I hope you can see that this is quite a little culvert here between what it see actually what seems to constitute these two lot you know in right in between these two lots there's the other house that we that I shot a shot of up on the when I was shooting the upper side of these two lots and again there's that culvert coming through and uh, the hill there for the upper of the two lots so it's kind of funny, the, the upper of the two lots looks like it, the land lays better, but I don't know how you get to it unless you can, uh, you'd have quite a culvert to put in and I'm not even sure about access. Um, so that's just something else to think about on these two. On to the next. Okay, I'm on the access road off of South Carolina. Um, and this is that lot and I can tell you sir that it is quite steep that looks like a very steep lot um, continue a drive by but this appears to be quite steep in terms of access very difficult access I would think yeah there's a marker for it right there I'm sure you can't see up that terribly much and there's the other pin right there so we've just left that that lot there's the other pin so take a look at how these folks situated a home here basically about all you can do is push a home right back into the mountain um, so it is it is definitely doable uh, foundation costs uh, development of the lot and the foundation costs of course would be commensurate with the difficulty of the terrain yeah. so they made a very nice job out of this one and you can see how the house is just backed up it's almost got two floors that are below grade on the rear okay this is interesting here we are on Texas Spur Road I think you can possibly see the flags right there orange flags marking the lot so the lot goes up like that and guess what you've already got a part of a foundation because I have absolutely no idea if if that would pass an engineering inspection but it very well may I just don't have any idea you can see there's some erosion issues in front right here uh, you'd probably end up definitely having to do a retaining wall there particularly in Montreat but your driveway is already in so the driveway access my understanding is the driveway you share this driveway and that up there where that you may see that car park that there's a deeded parking space for this lot 
on that upper pad up there. As you can see, there's another example of a retaining wall that was needed. And then again, even above that, an additional retaining wall for that lot. So this lot would you know, need an extensive retaining wall. Not unusual at all in Montreat, you may be aware. So anyway, that's this particular lot. On to the next. Here we are on Texas again, right straight across from the community center. Community center building and the playgrounds and so forth. And, oops, looks like I've got to move, but this looks like one bear of a lot. However, not much worse than many. So, the location is fantastic. This is a view from assembly of that lot um, that had the foundation already on it. So it give you a little bit of a, a different perspective possibly. There's the house next door. You can see the retaining walls there built. And there's that lot. <laughs> 